Mukashi, Mukashi, long ago, oh, so very long ago, in the land of the rising sun, there lived a pair of mandarin ducks. The drake had feathers of the most beautiful colors, even more exquisite than the richest brocade worn by the emperor, while his mate wore the quiet tones of the woods that blended with the trees where the pair made their nest. One day, while the duck was sitting on her eggs, the drake flew down to the nearby pond in search of food. A hunting party which served the cruel lord of the district saw the magnificent drake swimming gracefully in the pond and decided to capture the bird in order to present it to the cruel lord as an adornment to his household. The hunters placed acorns on the path to entice the drake to come out of the water so they could capture him.
The beautiful Drake, imprisoned in a cage, was now a possession of the Lord, who cared only to show him off and brag about his wonderful plumage. The most beautiful bird in all the land, and it is mine, mine! All the while, the poor Drake could think of nothing but his mate, sitting alone on her nest, not knowing what had happened to her husband. Despite the wonderful delicacies the kitchen maid Dasuko prepared for him, he refused to eat, and soon his magnificent feathers began to fade right before Yasuko's eyes. Shozo, the Lord's chief steward, dared to ask the Lord to release the drake, and in a storm of angry words was demoted to the kitchen, where he now worked us alongside Yasuko. In their mutual concern for the drake, they began to care for each other as well. Drake grew weaker 
and pale. Yasuko and Shozo, seeing the sad state of the drake, decided to let him go, no matter what the cost. Yasuko opened the cage, and the drake flew away to return to his mate. Word of the drake's release quickly reached the ears of the cruel lord. Enraged by their defiance of his rule, he ordered Yasuko and Chozo bound and sentenced them to death by drowning. Suddenly, two emissaries from the imperial palace appeared with a message from the emperor. His divine majesty has had a vision of the merciful Buddha, who ordered him to abolish capital punishment throughout the empire. All prisoners under sentence of death are to be sent to the imperial court. Even the cruel lord had to obey this order. Yasuko and Chozo were then led away by the retainers to the imperial city. During the long journey to the Imperial City, Shozo, Yasuko, and the retainers walked through the dark woods. The retainers, frightened by the sounds of night and wind, soon ran away, leaving Yasuko and Shozo tired, hungry, and alone in the dark forest. Suddenly, the Imperial emissaries reappeared. They freed Yasuko and Shozo from the cruel ropes binding them, offered them food and comfortable beds to rest for the night.
as the sun rose the next morning, Yasuko and Shozo awoke to find themselves in a place of great beauty near the forest. They ran quickly to find the Imperial Emissaries to express their happiness and gratitude for their deliverance to this sanctuary. To their surprise, they were greeted by the pair of Mandarin ducks who turned and bowed to them. The magnificent drake with his beautiful colors restored. His mate, who wore the quiet tones of the woods, Shozo and Yasuko, joyously celebrated their freedom and the reunion of their family, which would always be together. <laughs>